Brody Kostecki has officially joined Dick Johnson Racing. Uh, he will be partnering up with Will Davison in 2025 at least. There hasn't been talks of a multi-year deal for now, but if he is successful like we all think he's going to be, opportunity is there to stick around for the Gold Coast based team. Really big announcement today. There was a few rumors circling around on what that could really be. Um, but finally, we've got the news that yeah, Brody Kostecki is on his way to Dick Johnson Racing, a, a move that not many people thought would happen. Um, we knew something would happen after Anton Du Pasquale announced he'd be signing with Team 18. Um, I didn't really think Brody of, of Brody, to be honest. I thought of some other drivers. Um, but really cool opportunity to see Brody, even in the introductory photos, just smiling and happy. And I'm pretty proud to bring back the Shelby Power hat. I haven't worn it for a couple of years since Scotty Mack was here. Um, so yeah, really great opportunity for him. And um, yeah, hopefully he can just go back to his winning ways. We miss the old Brody. Um, hasn't been a great uh, 12 months for him, well, this year at least. So hopefully he can get back to his winning ways and dominate at the front this time in a Mustang. Um, replacing him at Erebus is at Cooper Murray, uh, Super 2 rookie, um, or Super 2 driver who will be a rookie next year. Um, he's proved his worth for Eggleston Motorsport countless times. Obviously, he's a teammate of Kai Allen, who's also moving to supercars with Penrite. And this is a great opportunity for uh, Cooper. He's been a part of the um, Erebus Academy, I guess you can call it, for, for a couple of years. Um, so unbelievable opportunity for him to finally step up to the main game. He'll be driving the 99 Camaro. And I think it's a really good stepping point for him. Um, he will be partnering up with Jack LeBrock, so gain some tips and tricks from an experienced driver. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little bit surprised because I kind of thought Todd Hazelwood would slide right into that seat, but um, not the case. We'll see what Todd's um, plans are later in, on in the year as he works with Brody Kostecki in the Enduro um, races coming up at Sandown and Bathurst. So yeah, obviously we know Cooper Murray has the experience so far as being a wild card for Triple Eight with the Super Cheap Auto Colors. Uh, he will also still be partnering up with Craig Lowndes uh, for the upcoming standout and Bathurst rounds um, as the wild card for Triple Eight, still in the Super Cheap Auto Colors. So, major news this morning. We're really excited about it. I'm glad I got it right myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's see what happens else with the silly season. There's still a couple more teams who haven't uh, secured their driver lineups for 2025. And um, well, kind of all bets are off now because we kind of got all the predictions wrong so far. So, well, well, I have no idea who's going to go where. So um, really exciting times. As, as always, you can catch all the breaking news on supercars uh, on ltmotorsport.com and um, all of our social medias at Let's Talk Motorsport across all platforms. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Very exciting times.